Hello everyone, welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, I will show you an easy technique to create a flip animation in Adobe After Effects. This tutorial is easy for those who watch this video till the end. If you miss any step, the results might be different. I will give the project file if I get 500 likes for this video. If you are new to this channel, please support me and subscribe to Rizat Graphics. Anyways, let's get started. First of all, open Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. Then rename it to Flip Animation or whatever name you like. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Let's import the images. You can download the vector file. The download link is in the description. Now, drag the A letter to create a new composition, with the same resolutions. Create the new compositions by dragging the remaining letters. Now, go back to the main composition. Drag the letter A composition to the timeline. And enable the 3D. Zoom in the screen to 1600%. Press Ctrl plus R to show the rulers. Add a horizontal and vertical guide to the center. Make sure the guides are on the center. Otherwise the results would be different. Now, zoom out the screen. Select the layer. Press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Select the rectangle tool, and add a mask, to the top side. Select the top layer, and add a mask from the bottom side. Select the top layer of a composition. Press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on X rotation on the first frame. Change the X rotation value to negative 180 degrees. Go to about 1 second on the timeline, and change the X rotation value to 0 degrees. Cool. Select the bottom layer of A composition. Go to Track Matte, and, select Alpha Inverted Matte. Go to about 15 frames on a timeline, and trim the top layer of A composition. Then make it visible. Select both layers, and drag the pick whip to the A composition layer, which is the bottom layer. Let's preview it. Cool. Now, lock the visible layers, and hide them. Let's drag the B letter composition to the timeline. Select the B composition layer, and enable the 3D, and duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D on a keyboard. Now, select the rectangle tool, and add a mask from the left side. Select the top layer of B composition, and add a layer mask from the right side. Again select the top layer of B composition, and press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on Y rotation. Change the Y rotation value to positive 180 degrees. Go to 1 second on the timeline. Change the Y rotation value to 0 degrees. Select the bottom layer of B composition. Go to track mat and choose Alpha Inverted Mat. Again go to about 15 frames on a timeline, and trim the top B layer composition. And make it visible, 
Select both top B layers. And drag the Piquip to the bottom B layer. Let's check the results. Amazing. Now, lock the visible layers. And hide them. Drag the C letter composition. Enable the 3D. Select the layer. And make it duplicate. Select the bottom layer of C composition. And, create a mask from the top side. Select the top layer of C composition. And add a mask from the bottom side. Open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on X rotation. Change the rotation value to negative 180 degrees. Go to the 1 second on the timeline. Change the rotation value to 0 degrees. Cool. Now, go to track mat. And select alpha inverted mat. It looks perfect to me. Now, go to about 15 frames on a timeline. And trim the top layer of C composition. Let's make it visible. Select both layers of C composition. And make it parent to the bottom C layer composition. Now, lock the visible layers. And hide them. Finally, drag the D letter composition. Enable the 3D. Select the layer. And make it duplicate. Select the bottom layer of D composition. And add a mask from the right side. Select the top layer of D composition. And add a mask from the left side. Select the top layer of decomposition. And press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on Y rotation. Change the rotation value to negative 180 degrees. Go to the 1 second on the timeline. Change the rotation value to 0 degrees. Now, go to track mat. And select alpha inverted mat. Now, go to about 15 frames on a timeline. Trim the layer and make it visible. Select both D layers. And make the parent to the bottom D layer. Let's unhide all the locked layers. And unlock all the locked layers. Now, select all layers of B, C, and D composition, and drag the layers to the one second on the timeline. Now, select all layers of C, D composition, and drag to two seconds on the timeline. Finally, select all layers of D composition, and drag to three seconds on the timeline. Let's preview it. Cool. Everything looks perfect to me. Let me show you the final step. Select the A composition. Drag it to the timeline, just between the B layers. Drag the layer to one second. Enable the 3D option. Then add a mask from the left side. 
and press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on Y rotation. Then change the Y rotation to negative 90 degrees after 15 frames. Looks perfect to me. Select the B composition. Drag it to the timeline, just between the C layers. Drag the layer to 2 seconds. Enable the 3D option. Press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on X rotation. Then change the X rotation to positive 90 degrees after 15 frames. Finally, select the C composition. Drag it to the timeline, just between the D layers. Drag the layer to 3 seconds. Enable the 3D option. Add a mask from the right side. Now, press R to open rotation properties. Add a keyframe on Y rotation. Then change the Y rotation to positive 90 degrees after 15 frames. Let's preview it again. Amazing. Our flip animation is completed. Everything looks perfect to me. And I am happy with the results. And I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial. Please hit the like button if you find this video helpful. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics. Thanks for watching. Good luck.